everyone, welcome to the Movie Club, brought to you from our state-of-the-art studio, but also from entirely different locations, aren't we, JT? Look, this is the magic of technology. We come to you from 10 kilometres apart inside our own little COVID bubbles. That's it, staying COVID safe, guys. So today we're going to be talking about an amazing series you might have accidentally flipped through called Undone. I'm 28 years old and I'm terrified this is all there is. Is this a dream? Well, partly. Undone follows the story of Alma, who wakes up from a car crash to discover that she can control time itself. Either that, or maybe she's been off her meds for a little bit too much, and she's starting to see things that aren't exactly real. JT, what did you think about it? I thought Undone was really interesting. I mean, it's, it's produced in a rotoscoped animation style, which I've always been a big fan of, even though it is frankly a ludicrous way to produce content, because it takes so long to do. It's why we're still waiting for a season two, to be honest. Apparently they had to paint thousands and thousands of paintings in order to get this one off the ground. Mm. But as a series, I, I thought it was really interesting. Uh, the lead actress, Rosa Salazar, um, who was also in Battle Angel Alita in a very sort of altered sort of state, I guess, um, is a fantastic actress. Um, and she has the ability to play a character that's not immediately likable, but really grows on you over the series. I'm seeing my dead father. I wasn't in an accident, I was killed. And he's training me to travel in time. With your ability, we can change what happened. So it's done by the same guys that did Bojack Horseman, right? It is, it was created by Kate Purdy and Raphael Bob Waxberg. And there are certain similarities between Bojack Horseman and Undone, particularly in the way the characters are portrayed as multi-layered and somewhat unlikable. Absolutely. I mean, when you're watching the series, you slowly realise that, unlike most other shows you might watch, there are no clear heroes and villains. No, that's right. I mean, characters that you might like in the first episode turn out to be, you know, perhaps the not best people by the final episode. And equally, characters that you may not identify with, Alma in particular, really come around and become far more interesting and nuanced. Mm. I think another massive theme in the series is the idea of perception. Like, the way Alma experiences the world is such a trippy, almost self-hating experience that when you start to see it from other people's point of view, you realise that despite the fact that she's not a reliable narrative, her view is just as valid as somebody else's. Well, that's right. Um, just on one point you made there, uh, the, the trippy nature of it is, is very common to the rotoscope style films. Uh, things like A Scanner Darkly and, and Waking Life were deliberately targeted at audiences who uh, enjoyed, um, I think, tripping balls is the phrase that the kids use today. Two hemispheres of my brain are competing. Yes. As someone who, who doesn't drink and I'm guessing probably doesn't trip balls very often, how do you find this sort of, the, the, the trippy approach to, uh, to storytelling? See, I love it, and I think it's because I do live a rather rich fantasy life, um, <laughs> which is a really weird thing to admit on camera, but the way Alma experiences the world kind of resonated with me, because I have the same experiences where you tend to put yourself at the center of other people's universes and almost attribute other people's actions to what you've done and almost take responsibility for that, which is something that Alma, Alma does quite often throughout the series, um, which, you know, touches upon that theme of mental illness, which I'm sure you'll agree is such a big theme here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the family relationships in, uh, in the series were really interesting to me as well, because throughout the series, you have Alma's mother uh, trying to get her to take her, her meds um, and Alma really pushing back and making life miserable for her sister, who's about to be married, but has problems all of her own. So I just thought that family dynamic, particularly with the spectre of, of the dead father sort of looming over them, was, uh, was really well painted. Mm. Especially as Alma almost deifies him, you know, he can really do no wrong in comparison to the people that actually stayed behind. Um, in the beginning of the series, he's almost presented as the only person that truly understood her. Whereas as the series continues, you realise that, yes, while the other people might not understand her as well, they are the ones that stuck around and still try to help her, even though sometimes Alma's her own worst enemy. Right? I just feel like everyone's messing with me. You're acting even stranger than usual. You usually act even stranger than usual. Whoa. But since the accident... You have been acting more even stranger than usual, than usual. Yeah, absolutely. 
What, what I found interesting was the, the depiction that Undone gives of schizophrenia, because, you know, obviously mental illness is, is an enormous uh, issue these days. But when um, films or series address it, they can get it incredibly wrong. Um, C as music comes to mind. How do you think the, uh, the sort of uh, the schizophrenia plays into the overall story arc? So this one's a really, un, well, sort of complicated one to unpack because on the one hand, while you do have the issue of schizophrenia, you also have the issue of the Western perspective of schizophrenia. Um, there was a really interesting study that found that in a lot of, say, Western countries, you know, when you tended to hear voices, they tended to be evil and demonic. Whereas when other cultures tended to hear this, those voices as well, they would almost be paternal or a lot kinder or enlightened. It talks about how people who had schizophrenia in certain cultures were actually thought of as shamans and people who had access to other doorways of reality that, you know, could inform the way we lived our lives. So, and and again, you know, this the series just has so many layers, right? I mean, on the one hand, it irritates me that they've taken Rosa and once again covered her in a layer of CGI. But on the other hand, I'm glad they did so because they, the entire rotoscoping effect emphasizes that point oh absolutely she, she's probably at the point in her career where she's done a bunch of big movies but could walk down the street and not be recognized because she, as you say she's covered in cgi so often even though she's a, a fantastic actor without any of those accoutrements it's all about your emotions you need to feel them without letting them become you how do i do that just deep breaths <sighs> Look, Undone's the kind of series that you might flick past when you first come across it in the TV guide, but really is worth a look if you're interested in stories of family and that rotoscope style of animation that's uh, so good. Rehana, would you uh, recommend Undone? Absolutely. It's absolutely beautiful. And yes, while thing, well, things can get confusing at some point, it's one of the series you don't mind watching again. Undone is now showing on Amazon Prime. This has been The Movie Club. We'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Catch ya.